In this problem, we want to find the value of t, or the exact position, along the path of the particle, so that the tangent line to the curve would contain the point negative 8, 2, and negative 1, and we're given the position vector of this particle, r of t is t squared i plus 1 plus tj plus 2t minus 3k. So I've drawn the, or created the path of the particle in GeoGebra, and you can see the point back there, the negative 8, um, 2, and negative 1 point. And what this problem is asking me for is to find the tangent line at a specific time along the path, so that if I draw that tangent line, it will go through that point A. So I'm seeking a specific time t that gives me an exact location on that curve so that when I draw the tangent line again it'll go through a. So as a preview I'm showing you what one of those possibilities look like ahead of time. So this is what we're seeking. We want to find the point of tangency and we want to find that exact location right there at the uh, on the part, path of the particle, so that when I draw that tangent line, it goes through my point A. And you can see as the particle goes along, I could have several lines. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is find the derivative, or the velocity vector. So V, of course, is the uh, derivative of R. So that's going to equal R prime at T. And that's pretty straightforward. That is going to be 2ti plus j plus 2k. So that is the uh, that is the line of tangency or the direction vector of the tangent line. I'm going to let that point of tangency be a specific value. I'm going to call that A. So A is the that moment in time where I get my point of tangency. So I'm going to plug that into my position vector and that is going to give me A squared I plus 1 plus A J plus 2a minus 3k. Okay, so that is the location of this uh, point of tangency that's going to go through my point minus 8, 2, and negative 1. Now I just want to remind you about the equation of a line in space. So we'll just call it a line, just to refresh your memory. That's r of t is equal to the initial point r sub 0 plus t times the direction vector. Well, we have a direction vector for the tangent, don't we? We've just calculated that. So v, if I plug in a, that's going to give me 2ai, that's going to be my direction vector, plus j, plus 2k. The problem with using this equation in this instance, I can't really use this equation for the line in space because t has already been used in the position vector and of course in the velocity vector. So that I don't get confused, I'll just change the parameter. So my line in space will be r s, the starting point r naught, and that's going to be that point that corresponds to t equals a on my position vector, plus s times v, and that's going to re, uh, correspond to the velocity vector or the line of tangency at also at the point a. So I want to write the parametric equation of that tangent line and let's do the x component first. I'll just divide it up that way. So x 
is going to equal uh, a squared, that's the r naught component of x, plus s times 2a. That's the v part. y is 1 plus a, that's the r naught component, plus s multiplied by just 1, of course, and then z is 2a minus 3 plus 2s. Uh, but of course, I have a point that I've been given that has an x, y, and z coordinate. The x part of the specific point I'm interested in is negative 8. The y part of the specific point that I'm interested in is 2. And the z part, of course, is negative 1. So now what I need to do is equate these components and solve the resulting system. So now we want to equate components and solve this system for s. I'm going to take that middle equation, and that's going to give me s is equal to 1 minus a. And then I'm going to substitute that into the first equation. So I'm going to put that into negative 8 is equal to a squared plus 2a 1 minus a. And then I'll have an equation all in a. When I solve that equation, I'm going to get a squared uh, minus 2a minus 8 equals 0. And of course, I can factor that. That factors to be a minus 4 and a plus 2 equals 0. And of course, by the zero products property, that implies that a is positive 4 or a is negative 2. So at the point where the particle is it has, uh, I could plug in 4 into the position equation r of t, that would be the point of tangency where the line would naturally go through the point negative 8, 2, 1, and similarly for a equals negative 2. I would like to invite you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks very much for listening.